she is tempted. Saying, well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm just, I'm just tempted of God. God is doing it. If it's wrong, God is not doing it. If it's wrong, God is not doing it. God doesn't do wrong. Perhaps when you look at this verse, you say within yourself, how can any person feel like that they're blaming God for their temptations, for their sins, and for their shortcomings? You'd be surprised at the many people that's going around doing the wrong thing and blaming God for their shortcomings. Even some believers, you have certain problems, certain troubles and trials come up in your life. And you may not say it outwardly, but you say it to yourself. Why did God let this happen to me? Why did the Lord let this happen in my family? Why did the Lord let this happen to my friend? Everything that happens, God doesn't have anything to do with it. There are some things that happen, the devil can cause some things to happen. But yet we blame God for everything that happened. During 9-11, I heard so many people say, if there was a God, if God is so righteous, if God is so good, why did he let those planes fly into the World Trade Center. If God is so good and so righteous, why did he permit all those innocent people's lives to be destroyed? In the first place, who told you they were innocent? Who said God allowed it? And why blame God? And even if he did, and he did not, but if he did, guess what? It is his. Everything in this world belongs to God. And he can do what he wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. But the Bible said, let no man say, when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. When we face trials, we must realize where they are coming from. Because if it's not for the edifying, in the building of your spiritual temple, then it is not coming from the Lord. In verse 13, when we say that I am tempted of God, then we are accusing God for our temptation and we deny his blamelessness. In the same verse, we find here that the word of God said, God tempts no man. And so when we say, I am tempted by God, then we blame God for our situation. We bring God down to our human level. We bring him down to ourselves. And sometimes, brothers and sisters, that's bringing them down mighty low. When we say 
that God is tempting us. We deny him of his righteousness. We deny God of his righteousness by saying that God associates with sin. God does not associate with sin. He tells us in the book of Corinthians, I think the sixth chapter, what coin card had light with darkness? What fellowship have Belial with righteousness? God have no fellowship nor association with sin. He came to destroy sin that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Your understanding, your understanding of the gospel can stand or fall on the base, on the principle that God cannot be tempted by evil. If you say within yourself, I, I'm tempted to do wrong by God, then you are building on the wrong foundation. You're building on sinking sand and you take away the righteousness of God. In verses 14 and 15, we find that every man, every person, is tempted when he, she, or they are drawn away of their own lust and enticed. In verses 14 and 15, these two verses, if we say that God is to blame, then we accuse God for temptation and denies his sinlessness. There's no sin in God. James gives us a realistic view of the temptation which we will be confronted with. And it causes you and I to stop, to look, and to search the word of God and to make sure that we are on the right path. And we're headed in the right direction. In verse 14, we are to recognize the process of temptation. Temptation has a process. The Bible says in verse 14, but every man, every woman, is tempted when he is drawn away with his own lust and entice. And when we look at this word, when he is drawn away, it leads us to believe that there was a time in life where a person perhaps may have been closely connected with the Lord. They may have had a constant walk with God, standing on the word, walking in the word. But for some reason or another, temptation appeared. And through the appearance of our temptation, there was something about that temptation and within that temptation. I found it.